My second tip for increasing trust at the front desk and helping you get better outcomes and have a growing office is this. The research is clear that we as doctors need to tailor our communication with our patients. We need to adapt to them, not expect them to adapt to us. So we need to use language that works with them and methods that work with them. Well, the most common method that people communicate now is not email. The most common method that people communicate now with their friends and family is two-way text messaging. So if we're gonna follow the research and tailor our communication, we should be using two-way text messaging as the primary way of communicating with our patients. It's the primary way that you probably communicate with all of your loved ones. That still allows us to make phone calls when necessary. But why do we keep forcing them to use email? I'll tell you, it's probably because your EMR, your EHR, your electronic health record, your medical software requires emails. If that wasn't the, res the restriction of your software, what method would you likely communicate with your patients? So we here at Trust Driven Care provide two-way text messaging solutions for your office. Love to have you check it out because two-way text communication is the most preferred method for patient communication when we ask patients. Furthermore, there's been a lot of research. For example, there's research around tonsillectomies where they sent two-way text messages, one before the tonsillectomy procedure, one on the day of, and a message the day after. The patient satisfaction scores were huge, and there was not a single participant in that study who didn't say that the text messages were a positive addition to their patient care. We can get so much buy-in by simply using two-way text message. Now let me give a little caveat. If you say, well, my EMR sends out text messages, but they're one way, tell me where else we would accept one way text message communications. I hate it when it comes from my mechanic. I hate it when it comes from the power company. I hate it in every sense of any method of communication because it's not communication. It's someone else making an announcement to me of which I can't reply to. If you think that works, try it at home for a week and just communicate one direction. Tell me how that works out.